hello everyone in today's video i am going to demonstrate how to trace the lateral cephalogram and do basic cephalometric analysis so i have taken few lateral shapes uh, acetate paper is attached here so that we can trace on this i've got a view box once we switch it on we can do the tracings here now i'll show what basic landmarks need to be traced the sequence of steps to be done first of all to orient these lateral cephalograms we need to make some orientation marks three cross points can be made uh, two in the skull and one in the vertebral column so that um, if we need to do other cephalometric analysis and if we need to retrace the cephalogram we can orient it we can take it out and store it for later use and you need one a lead pencil with 0.5 mm tip diameter a lead pencil is better because the thickness of the line is uniform if we use lead pencil if you use other type of pencil the uh, thickness of the lines vary so it is better if you use lead pencil now let's uh, start first of all what needs to be done is that you need to mark these orientation lines i'm marking these orientation lines can begin from anywhere first of all i'd like to show you here is a scale on the scale there is marking in millimeters 5 10 15 20 these markings we can measure and calibrate let's see on the scale it is 19 mm in the real scale it is 19 mm but on the x-ray it is 20 mm so the magnification factor becomes 19 by 20 into 100 that is 0.95 now let's begin with the tracing. I have started here from the sailor region. Planum spinoidal. And this comes. This is the machine porion. And somewhere near is the anatomic porion. You can make the anatomic porion also here and here is the condylar outline we need to be well aware of the anatomic landmarks which are present and in this lateral cephalogram it is quite easy that there is a single border of the lower border of the mandible but in some cases where the lower border there are two borders you need to trace both the borders let me trace them we need to trace both the borders and make a dotted line exactly in between this and that dotted line will be used for measurement purpose. Okay, after after the tracing of the basic cephalometric landmarks, you will get something like this. Here, there are two borders of the mandible and the dotted line represents the actual one which we will use for calculation. 